Hi everyone, Amy Giverts here and today I'm going to walk you through the steps of setting up your labels in your brand new Gmail account. So let's jump over and if you had your Gmail set up with a grecruiter.com and grecruiter Gmail login, then what you'll be looking at are a series of labels that look like this. And what we need to do first is to get rid of the labels that we don't need and that's going to include some of those that get carried over and some of the default labels so we'll go over into settings and from there we'll jump into the labels and I'll scroll down and you can see that one of the labels that gets carried over from the setup is this archived label so we're going to go ahead and remove that and then there are a couple of defaults we need to remove Here's one, personal, and here's another, receipts, and down at the bottom we've got travel and we've got work, so let's remove those two as well. And then what we'll have remaining are our folders, which you can see here, and we're ready now to go to the next step, which is to come to the labs tab and we're going to add some features now that will help us get organized with our labels so I'm going to scroll down and the first thing that we're going to add are superstars so let's go ahead and enable that and then scrolling down we're going to come to custom label colors we'll go ahead and we'll enable that as well and then the third thing that we want to trigger is our multiple inboxes. So let's go down to the bottom here and save the changes. We didn't have to save the changes in our labels, but we have to save our changes for anything that we move around in the labs tab. And you can see here that when we come back to the inbox, the multiple inboxes looks really rather ugly. So we're going to come back into the settings we're going to now go to the new tab that's been created, multiple inboxes, and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the extra panels below the inbox. We're going to change the maximum page size to five. Now, some of these preferences are literally a preference, so you can decide on what makes most sense for you. And here we've got some of the default search queries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out, and I'm going to refer to this document which you can download from the G Recruiter site. You'll find this document in the files and downloads section. And the piece that we're particularly interested in is this little piece of script here where you can see that we've got some queries which relate to the stars that we're going to be adding momentarily. And here we've got the displays that we'll be seeing in our panels on the multiple inboxes. So before we go ahead and do this, what I'm going to do is add these stars. So let's come back now into our settings. Let's come back into the general tab. And you can see here that we've got our superstars that have been added. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to order these and then we'll come back and we'll change our queries in the multiple inboxes and then we'll be good to go. So I'm just going to pull these over and kind of get these somewhat organized. And what I try and do is I try and organize these in the same order that we're going to see them here. Red, orange, purple, blue and green. And once you've been using these for a day or two, you'll be, become very familiar with what they represent. But we're going to now go ahead and add the first of our queries to our inbox. So let's come back now. Don't forget to make your changes permanent by saving them. Let's come now again into the settings and back into our multiple inboxes. And what we're going to do is we're going to add each one of these search queries and the corresponding title. So I'll go ahead and add those. So you can see here that we have the query has red bang or has red star 
and if you're not familiar with how the advanced operators in Gmail work then you can drop down to your bookmarks and there's a reference there for you and I'm just going to go ahead and add the rest of these Now, as is always is the case, what I'm giving you here are the suggested settings. You can always change this to whatever preferences suit you. I think for most circumstances, this should work pretty well. So, there you are. We've added our search queries, and we've added the corresponding panel title, which will now appear in the multiple inboxes and you can see as they're loading here we're now getting everything nicely organized and I'm going to jump over to my working account and I'll show you what this looks like in practice you can see here that we've got all of the items that we've got tagged here for action required here we've got some suspect calls or scheduled follow-up calls and down the bottom here we've got some rejected candidates or candidates that have declined the offer and if I open this up you'll notice that we've got the search query here has blue star or has a blue bang and it corresponds with the query here so you can see that what we've done in effect is we've just created some predetermined search terms that have been loaded into our multiple inboxes and in that way we can organize our workflow so if I come back and show you in our newly created Gmail account, this does follow somewhat the workflow that would ex one would expect in a regular recruiting scenario. So now we're going to come to our labels and we're going to color these. So we're now going to add a custom color. And I'll just add these for the top level at least. And you can see here that the labels are nested so you can go ahead and color these in and you'll see that we actually break this down into three levels in some instances and here we've got some very generic project numbers you can change these to the projects that are appropriate for the way that you code your stuff and again if I come back into this working account you'll see here that for example in the projects We've got everything labelled here. So you can see that the stars also serve as a visual representation of what's going on in any one particular folder. If I come down to the notes, you can see that I've got the notes organised for that particular project here as well. And of course all of this is populated automatically because as you'll see in an upcoming session, we've got filters set up so that as things come into our system, they're automatically routed to the appropriate folder. So coming back now into our new account, you can go ahead and complete this and make it look pretty. So that basically concludes this very brief session on how to set up your folders and your multiple inboxes and now you're pretty much ready to go. So that's it. Happy Googling everybody. Bye bye.